Hello friends, this is Sarah Prather of Sarah D. Crochet, and today I wanted to uh, touch base on one of my most requested tips and tricks videos, um, which is how to sew on your pieces to your amigurumi nice and neat without showing the stitches wrapped around. Um, right now I do not have the snout stuffed. There's no stuffing in here. I actually have it off to the side here. And I am using a doll needle, which you can use a blunted needle if that's your preference. I like the, the longer needle because it gives you a little bit more control. Um, also, if you hear a little rattle, it's just my rattle head that I am using as the example. Um, so we're gonna start, and I have my pins wrapped around here. I use a lot of pins just because I want to make sure that it stays in place while I'm sewing. Um, and we will remove those as we work around. Okay, so we're going to start. We'll remove this pin to the right of the stitch here. I'm going to hold it in place. And here's our end stitch. So I'm just going to go over one stitch to the right and pick up some of the yarn from the head and kind of swoop over to the next stitch. Excuse me, to the stitch to the left of that same stitch that we just started working with. So you're not actually wrapping it around, you're going through the stitches and to the left. And pull that all the way through. And that creates just a little nice hat to your stitch there in the end. Now that's going to be kind of the same uh, technique that we're going to use as we work around. We're going to enter to this in the stitch to the right and exit with your needle to the stitch to the left of where the yarn is coming out of. I hope that makes sense. We're going to as go we... to the right, put our needle into the stitch, not around it. and exit out the stitch to the left of where the yarn is coming through. And pull that all the way through. Same process. Enter in the stitch to the right of the yarn. Swoop down and pick up some of the yarn from the head. Exit to the left of the stitch where the yarn is coming out. So if you think about it in numbers, we'll say that this stitch is number one, the stitch where the yarn is coming out of is number two, and the stitch that we exit out of is number three. Okay, so we'll try that. So enter into stitch number one, skip stitch number two, we'll remove that guy and exit out of stitch number three. This is why I like the longer needle. I feel like you have more control uh, when you're sewing pieces like this. Okay, so that we are out here, so we're gonna go into stitch number one, skip stitch number two, and out through stitch number three. And we repeat that process. And as you see, you can see the stitches, but it leaves a lot cleaner of an edge and you can't really pick that up. And these are gonna be chewed on by babes. They're gonna be loved on. They're gonna be pulled on. They're gonna get a lot of love. So we gotta make sure that they're nice and secure. We're gonna go in through stitch number one, skip stitch number two, and out through stitch number three. Okay, we're gonna work our way around until we're, oh, we've got maybe a half an inch of an opening and then we're gonna stuff the snout. Okay, so I'm almost to the end here. I have about, oh, an inch opening. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stuff it a little bit. 
a little bit at a time. And I like to use the little poker that comes with the polyfill in the bags. Um, you can use the end of a pencil or just your finger. I find that this helps get all the little fibers in there better. And just keep stuffing until it's nice and firm. You don't want this to be too soft just because it will get played with, with by the little hands and worn down over time. So we want it to be slightly firm. Okay. And that's plenty. I'm actually going to take a little bit out. Then when your snout is nice and stuffed, I'm going to put a pin back down just to hold it in place. That way we can take a look, make sure everything is lined up um, accordingly, and we can start sewing again. Make sure you are staying close to your yarn edge though so you're not picking up any of those fibers. And we continue sewing closed. Move your last needle, or excuse me, straight pin. And then we're back at the beginning. And there you go, nice and clean, very secure. Nothing's coming undone here. You're gonna hide your ends. And because this is getting sewn to the end of the rattle, I'm gonna pull mine through the bottom and knot it off. That way we don't have we know that that's not going to come undone. I'm just gonna create a little bit of a knot there and then hide my ends in the head. And there we go, perfectly sewn on little snout. I hope that this helped you and I can't wait to see your makes. Happy crocheting, friends.